So here we have a couple of powers or indices that we want to play with and see if we can find the answer more exactly. So let's see what tricks we have and see if we can solve for them. So the first one is 32 to the power of 0 0.2. Now that's not something that we can solve right away necessarily, but we can rewrite this 0 0.2 as a fraction, which is more common when we're talking about indices at any rate. So we can write this as the same base, 32, to the power of 2 tenths. So now it's getting a little better. We can already simplify this to 32 to 1 fifth. So this is helpful because 1 fifth is the same as the fifth root of 32. So what times itself 5 times gives us 32? Well, that's just 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. So believe it or not, this strange indice here gives us a simple integer answer. Let's take a look at another example of something with powers or indices that we can simplify in some way. So let's look at 3 to the power of 1.1. So again, we can't find the answer for this right away, but we can change it a little bit just to see if we can find what, what we might get from there. So we can write this using the, a rule of powers as a, the same base of a sum. So if this is the same as 3 to the power of 1 plus 1 tenth, or 3 to the power of 1 plus 0 0.1, then we can say that this is a multiplication. 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 1 tenth. So this is already easy. 3 to the power of 1 is, of course, 1. Sorry, 3. And then we can say 3 to the power of 1 tenth is the tenth root of 3. So from here, we can't solve for this exactly. This is as exact as we can solve for this problem. We can find the approximate answer if we just take the, uh, the tenth root of this with a calculator. So if we say that this is 3 times 1.2, sorry, 1.12, then we can get an approximate answer. So that approximate answer is just going to be 3.36. So it helps a little bit this way, but we can find an approximate answer like that.